Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to hide settings in the Windows Settings app and then also in Control Panel. So it's called Windows Setting Blocker. There's nothing to install. You just download the zip file and extract it. Then you just run the executable. So this is for Windows 10. I've tried it on Windows 11. It sort of works, but not that well. But we do have another video showing you how you could do the same thing on Windows 11 using a different method. So look for that at the end of this video. All right, so once you extract the zip file, just double click the executable, most likely the 64-bit one. So now you could use this for Windows settings and also for control panel. So we'll, we'll get to the control panel next. Okay, so for example, if we wanted to block the settings page altogether, save it. Now if we go to settings, it looks like it's going to load, then it just goes away. So that's not going to work. Okay, so first we're going to have to go back to disable blocking and save that. Make sure we get into our settings here. Okay, so if we go to system, we have display right there. So we're going to go now to hide pages. And we're going to find display in the list. Uh, some of these are not super obvious, you know, because there'll be sub menus of the main categories. So here's display. Add to list. Close. Save. So now we'll go back to settings here, to system, and now you can see display is missing from the list there. All right, let's try another one here. All right, let's try fonts. Okay, so if you don't know where the setting is, you could do a search for fonts. And you can see nothing happens there. Remove that. Go back into the settings. Now if we search for fonts, it'll bring up the font settings, which is under personalization, by the way. So even when you do searches for a disabled page, it's not going to show up. All right, let's remove that. Save it. Okay, now we'll try the show only pages. And let's use display again for our option, add to list, save it. So now we go to the settings. You can see we click on that and all we have is display, not even the other options under system, even though it shows right there. So that's another option you could use if you just want to display uh, one or more settings or one or more pages, I should say. All right, let's remove that, save it. Okay, so we blocked the setting page. Uh, we hid some pages, we did the show only pages, and then of course disable blocking will enable everything. Okay, so now let's try it for control panel. So you go to the settings, control panel options. So we have the same thing here. So if we click on control panel, we have our options there. We could block control panel. So that way they can't open it at all. Now we'll disable it, make sure it works. Okay. All right, so now let's hide some pages here. Well, let's open control panel. Let's pick one first. Let's say we don't want anybody to use the uh, backup and restore. Save that. It'll automatically close control panel once you uh, set something to be hidden. So now backup and restore is gone. Now I can remove that. And now it's back. Okay, let's try the show only pages. Let's say we only want them to see fonts. Now you can see all we have there is fonts. And we just remove it as needed. And then also from the settings, you could launch the window settings or control panel if you don't want to have to do it from the start menu there. And then you could also export your list. So that way you could configure your settings here and then export it and then import it into this program on a different computer and have everything ready to go. 
All right, so there is your overview of the Windows settings of Blocker app. So I will put a link in the description and then you could download it and try it out for yourself. So one thing I will say is don't go hiding things and then delete this program because you might find it hard to get them back. So make sure you always have this handy if you plan on using it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.